Hey everybody, I'm Andrew of the Movie Buff Pains. So Bethany has done a few unboxing videos with you guys, and now it's my turn, which I'm really excited for. We've mentioned it in past videos, but I just wanted to reiterate the fact that we've been very, very lucky to get everything Disney has released on Blu-ray and 4K up to this point. It's taken a lot of time and a lot of searching, but we've done really well. The only stuff we still hadn't gotten yet were a bunch of Disney Movie Club exclusives. I especially wanted to try and order everything that I could after Disney Plus came out. And once I saw just how much of their catalog was actually on the service, I was really scared that Disney Movie Club would shut down and that the exclusives would become near impossible to find. But as of last week, Disney Movie Club is going strong still. And in fact, they just announced two new Blu-ray exclusives. And of course, they announced these the day after I placed this massive order. So lucky on that part. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'll start pulling things out and we'll see what we got here. Very excited to see everything because I kind of have forgotten a majority of the titles that I ordered. I remember a couple here and there, but overall it's just not really recollecting very well. Whew, lots in here. This could take some time, bear with me. Alright, the first one we have here is the Boatniks. I don't really know much about this one, but I'm always a big fan of classic Disney, so I'm very excited to check this one out for sure. I mean, in all my life, I've never actually heard of this one, so that and that's rare for me for not knowing a Disney title. So I'm I'm definitely definitely gonna check this one out soon. It, it's very intriguing to me having something I haven't seen before. All right, up next we have. Operation Dumbo Drop. Now this is one I have actually heard of a little bit, but I've still never seen it, so I'll definitely have to check this one out soon too. And plus, look at that cast. Danny Glover, Ray Liotta, Dennis Leary, not guys that you would usually think of being in Disney films for the most part. So definitely interested to see what that one's like. All right, next one we've got is Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo. I have, I think, two of the four classic Herbie films, so i am got the other two in here, which I'm very happy about. I loved these as a kid. Still love them. I mean, a living car that is just trying to help save the day, how can you not love that, honestly? And Monte Carlo is definitely a fun one, just kind of all over the place. And just really fun, a really fun watch. All right, next one up. Oh, yay! I've actually got some slip covers in this box. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that that was still possible with Disney Movie Club. I, was, I thought I was lucky that I got a couple when I initially signed up for this club a few years back, but they still have some. Oh, I'm so happy. The next one we've got here is Herbie Rides Again with a slipcover. Really happy to have that one. I remember this one really well too and this is also just a super fun entry in the Herbie series. Very excited to have that in the collection, especially with that slipcover. Again, I didn't think it was still possible to get these things, so that's really exciting. Next one is also a slipcover edition and this one is the Apple Dumpling Gang. I remember I've seen this one I think once a long, long time ago. And you've gotta love the likes of Don Knotts and Tim Conway. They are just wonderful, wonderful character actors. Always enjoy watching them. Very excited to have that as well. All right, next one. All right, we have The Three Musketeers. I've seen this one a few times. I've always enjoyed the Three Musketeers story. I've seen a lot of the various adaptations. This is definitely one of my more favorite ones, especially with some of the casting on this. I mean, my gosh, it is full of recognizable faces, especially now that I'm older. And it's definitely just a good, fun adventure film, and I enjoy this one a lot. Very excited to add that to the collection, especially with the other adaptations I have. And we got another slip, oh boy. 
Oh, I think that's this is the last one to have a slip. But that's okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is obviously an early Blu-ray of theirs because it doesn't have quite the same design for the slipcover. They definitely updated it along the way. So the fact that this has a slipcover amazes me even more because this is obviously an earlier title. Either way, this one is Old Yeller. Definitely a classic, a must-have, and such a sad movie overall. But I still loved watching this when I was a kid because I always loved dogs. And so any movie that had dogs, I had to watch when I was a kid. So I am happy to have that one in the collection as well. You know, I keep saying I'm happy to have this. Of course I'm happy to have these in the collection. That's why I bought them. But either way, I'll try to stop saying that now. Next up, we have Monkeys Go Home. This is another one I had heard of, but I still haven't had the chance to see. Disney really loved to use animals and stuff in a lot of their earlier films, which is pretty cool. So I'm very interested to check that one out. Looks like it ought to be a pretty fun one, to be honest. I mean, usually stuff involving monkeys is pretty entertaining. Let's see, up next, we have in Search of the Castaways. I have a feeling I might have seen this once when I was a kid, but I, maybe it didn't leave enough of an impression with me to continually re-watch it. But I have the faintest hint that I might have seen this one, but basically it'll be a first watch for me again now that it's been so long. So definitely interested to check that one out in the near future. I think most of these will be ones that I'll want to check out real soon honestly a lot of great memories in this box and new ones to be made as well all right next up we have got piglet's big movie i've always loved the winnie the pooh properties ever since i was a little kid and i'm very happy to have some of the movies that came out right towards the end of my childhood but when I could still sort of appreciate them, I think that's when I was starting to realize how much I loved animation was as I was kind of getting into my teenage years and yet still wanted to watch all these, you know, kid movies. Uh, next, let's see here. We have Return to Oz. This is another one I feel like I might have watched once when I was a kid, but I just do not remember it whatsoever, so definitely going to give that one a watch in the near future. And I love Wizard of Oz, so I'm sure I'll be able to enjoy this one as well. Ought to be a fun watch for sure. Let's see. Next up, we have Pollyanna. Yet another one I'm sure I saw once or twice when I was a kid. I just do not remember this one. But I do need, I'll definitely give it a watch. I mean, Haley Mills was in so many Disney movies back in the day, and I need to watch all of them just so I have the experience of ha seeing her in those. So I will definitely have to check that one out. All right. Next up we have The Journey of Natty Gan. Now this is actually one I have never heard of. So this is another rarity for me, honestly. It looks interesting and I, the plot does intrigue me a bit. So I'll definitely have to take a look at this one in the near future. But either way, I'm happy to have it in the collection. And if Disney made it, then more than likely it's at least somewhat entertaining, so. All right, uh, next one up. Oh, classic 90s film, of course. This was a piece of my childhood that I love revisiting every so often and can't wait to check this out in high definition. And that is George of the Jungle. This is just ridiculous fun and I cannot wait to pop this Blu-ray in. And Brendan Fraser in this movie is just over the top. In fact, just about everyone in this is over the top. This is such a wonderful, wonderful trip down memory lane right here. I really can't wait to watch that one. I might need to pop that in in the next day or two. Next up, we've got, ah, another classic. I have seen this one before, and that is Treasure Island. I love the story of Treasure Island. I just mentioned that in one of our recent videos, 
and I am so, so excited to have this version as well. Definitely a favorite of mine, and I just really enjoy the story, and Disney's version is really well done as well. Up next we have, ah yes, another piece of childhood right here. That is Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. I remember when this one came out, I was so excited that a new Winnie the Pooh movie had been made. And I got this on VHS and just watched it again and again and again. Just absolutely adored it when I was a kid. Hopefully it still holds up just as well now that I'm older. <laughs> Let's see here, next one up. Oh, a true classic and one of my absolute favorites. And that is 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. This is just a great movie. I absolutely love this. The giant squid scene is still so amazing to me. I mean, it's done with just puppeted tentacles, but it still looks phenomenal. Just this whole movie overall is just a really great adventure. I love watching that one every once in a while. And plus you got Kirk Douglas in it, who was always fun to watch on the screen, so. The next one up. Ah, another one I've heard about, but it's never seen. The Black Hole. I really need to sit down and watch this one. I, I am such a big fan of science fiction and whatnot. I, you would think that I would have watched this at some point in my life, and yet I haven't. So definitely need to get on top of that one and watch this one ASAP. Up next we have The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. This is another one of those rare ones that I actually hadn't heard about. And it looks very interesting to me. I'll have to check that one out soon. But overall, it, it just sounds like an interesting film and yeah, very intrigued and can't wait to give it a watch. Let's see, up next, ah, another classic from childhood, Swiss Family Robinson, love this film, always loved the idea of living in a tree house on an island, and of course it would never be nearly as cool as what they made in this movie, but kid could dream, right? Let's see, just a few more left here. Next we've got Blackbeard's Ghost. This one's a bit corny, but it's still a fun watch for sure. And just all around an enjoyable Disney flick. And I'll have to give that one a watch. It's been years since I've seen it, but I do remember getting it from the library when I was younger and really enjoying it. So definitely have to check that one out again. All right, let's see. Next up, ah, a two movie collection and their Davy Crockett films. Davy Crockett, King of the Wild Frontier, and Davy Crockett and the River Pirates. I've seen bits and pieces of Davy Crockett stuff when I was younger, and my dad would whip out the theme song at the drop of a hat for whatever reason, but definitely intrigued by it though. A man who could just live off the land and wrestle bears and whatnot. Definitely will have to give those a watch. All right. Looks like we're down to the last one. All right, let's see what we got for the final title here. Ah, uh, yes, The Last Flight of Noah's Ark. This is another one I think I saw when I was a kid. I just don't remember it that well. I feel like there are a lot of these Disney films that I saw like one time on TV or on tape or something and just never watched them again for whatever reason. I guess I was more into the cartoons than I was the live action stuff for the most part. But I'll definitely have to give this one a watch, reintroduce myself to it. And we're gonna just double check to make sure, see if by chance anything got hidden away under all the papers. Nah, looks like that's everything. Still wound up with 23 titles. Wish that meant that I was up to date, but as I said at the beginning of the video, there are two more that just came out, so I'll have to grab those two. It's not a bad looking haul overall. Very happy to have every one of these in the collection. Very happy to be nearly up to date on the exclusives. If there is one justification for being part of the Disney Movie Club, it is for these titles especially, just because you won't get them anywhere else. 
ones. Or if you do, probably not for nearly as good a deal as you'll get them on there. And I'll definitely have to go order those other two soon just so I can feel complete. <laughs> And hopefully Disney will put out a few more titles in the near future. There's still a few animated films that they need to get out on Blu-ray. And there's probably plenty of live action stuff they could too. So hopefully they keep the movie club going strong. And there'll be more to add to the shelf soon. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I really enjoyed finding out again just what the heck I ordered and I'm really happy to again to have all of these in the collection and I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope you saw some titles that maybe enticed you to think about possibly signing up just us to add to your own collection. I'm a huge Disney fan and if you are too, again, definitely worth signing up just to get these kind of titles. So that's everything I have to share with you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I gotta give a shout out to our Patreon supporter, Chase Wilson, an executive producer. Thank you so much, Chase. You're awesome. There are a lot of different ways down, be down below that you guys can support the channel if you want. We also have a merch store now if any of you guys are interested in having something with our logo on it. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell down below, and we will see you guys on the next one.